guys, Nikki here and welcome to a Makeup Monday video. Uh, I do beg your pardon for the lighting in here. It's a very dull British day. Um, so I'm getting the light coming from the window, but nothing from this side. So I'm a little bit in the light and dark. Um, but uh, yeah, so it is a Makeup Monday video and today I have for you a makeup haul. So I have been collecting bits and pieces throughout January and February, um, bits of makeup and things, and I thought I would show them to you. Let's get on with some skincare and stuff like that first. Uh, so the first thing I want to show you is this large bottle of simple micellar cleansing water. And this is a Little Mix limited edition, so it's just got um, writing on the back of this, that's all I can see was um special about this although i do think that there was something that when you bought this there was a donation i think to a charity i can't remember um but yeah uh, so i bought this big 400 ml bottle um it was on special offer as well for about two pound fifty three pound i want to say uh, it wasn't expensive at all i got it from Superdrug. um so yeah i bought myself some of that I also bought myself uh, two sprays. Uh, these were on a buy one get one free in Superdrugs. We have Charlie Pink and Charlie Black. Um, I used to love these when I was younger. Uh, I think it's the pink one that I prefer. Um, but I got them both because I, for the life of me, I couldn't remember what they smelled like. These were £1.69, I want to say. What am I doing? I've got it all written down in my little book. Uh, so I have a, a little book here where I write down everything that I buy. So the cleansing water was £3.24 uh, from Superdrug. And the two Charlie sprays were um, £1.69 each, but it, they were on a buy one, get one half price. Um, I got this vitamin E... Um, moisturizer um, SPF 15 moisturizing day cream rich in natural vitamin E high in antioxidants defends the skin against environmental damage for normal to dry skin from Superdrug um, this came as a free gift so I have that one as well okay let's start with some nail polishes so we have three nail polishes here from Barry M uh but if i show you the right way around so three nail polishes here uh so we have the green origin base coat and top coats by barry m this was one pound 59 i believe these were also on a three for two i think uh then we have a uh, fortune teller which is a kind of um like holographic glitter topper so you've got massive large flakies in here um, with a clear base so yeah really pretty and then we have a socialite here which is a um a fuchsia pink with some holographic glitters in there as well so these are really pretty um so this is socialite um this is a fortune teller i'm not sure if you can see much on there um but yeah there's uh, some flakies on there obviously i'm not going to show you the base coat one because it's just a clear one um then some other um nail polishes that i bought I'm so excited about these ones right so i bought two essie nail polishes these were from my local tj hughes where i can buy very discounted nail polishes so these were all one pound 99 each so essie uh you me and the sea is again this beautiful fuchsia kind of little similar to uh this one but this one has a bit more of a purple tone to it uh, whereas this one is pure pink um, so there's that and this one has got like silver glitters in there so that is you me and the sea and this is it on the swatch 
Then we have Girly Grunge by Essie, which is kind of like a uh, like a lilac colour with a silver silver shimmer in there as well. And this is Girly Grunge. And this one looks a bit metallic, so it looks like that. And then I got some Sally Hansons. I got Wine Therapy, which is kind of like this deep wine colour, which is absolutely beautiful. Now I got these for $1.99 each and these are $9.99 brand new. So bargain, like utter bargain. So this is Wine Therapy and this is that colour on the swatch so it's a very 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 deep red then I have slicks and stones and I absolutely love this colour so it's like a purple with some gold and pink shimmers in there absolutely stunning so that is slicks and stones so that is it on the swatch can you see? Yeah. And then the last one. This is why I go into TJ Hughes every now and again to look at their discounted nail polishes because I have had my eye on this particular Sally Hansen polish for I'd say two years and I have loved this colour and I wanted it so badly but I refused to pay £10 for a nail polish and they had it they had it in TJ Hughes it is Therapeuta by Sally Hansen it is this beautiful greeny gold it is just stunning it's just this greeny gold shade is just so beautiful oh it's just just look at it it's just so gorgeous and there it is on the swatch we on the swatch it's just it's just I love it I love it look 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 it's gonna be so beautiful on my nails oh I am so excited for that I was I literally squealed when I saw this I squealed because I have been looking for this shade for so long and it's finally mine I love it I love it so much I'm so excited so that was all the nail polishes that I've bought so yeah I know I have quite enough nail polishes and I've just added one two three four five six seven eight more to my collection but I don't care I have Therapeuta now I'm happy uh, so <laughs> let's move on to some makeup oh actually before we move on to makeup I'm also going to show you these nail jewels as they call them but they're kind of like stickers um, trying to get the glare off from my ring light um, so they're literally just um, gold stickers I'll slide them out so they're a little bit easier for you to see so you can paint your nails with a plain colour and then you would just stick them on and it would look like that so kind of quick nail art without actually having to do anything but stick a few stickers on so i got those and those were only one pound 30 from essence which i get from my local wilkinson's okay so now moving on to makeup <laughs> now moving on to makeup um most of this makeup i am wearing today um i okay i'm gonna start from the base so i bought this I Heart Revolution Mint Chop Chip Colour Correcting Primer with Vitamin C and E. It is this one. Now, I must admit, <laughs> I was buying three for two uh, items on the I Heart Revolution um, page on the Superdrug because they had a three for two offer on. Um, and I only picked this up because I was after a new primer and I thought, oh, Mint Chop Chip, that's lovely. Um, didn't realise it was a colour correcting one. Um, but anyway, it's okay because the colour of it is not actually that green. I'm not, sh not sure if you can see that. But it is 
it looks more green when you first apply it but then as you sort of spread it out and pat it down it turns more like a very very like a white with a hint of green in it so it does dull down the redness um, that I sometimes do have on my cheeks um, and around my nose so, yeah I really did that like this and it does smell like mint chocolate chip it's it's delicious but it smells in the tube but not on my face I can't smell it now while it's on my face so that's really good I really liked it this was £4.24 on the three for two because I worked it out as how much I actually paid uh, then going on to foundation I bought the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid Medium to Full Coverage. I am again wearing it today and um, it's my colour. It's in shade F4 so that is what my shade is. Um, I really like it. It's really really nice. It does have a slight pinkish tone to it so if you're more of a yellow tone skin uh, shade F4 might not be for you because this one is a bit more of a pink tone but I prefer pinker tone foundation than a yellow toned one um, I just think it suits my skin tone a lot more I think I am more of a yellow uh, pink pink toned skin anyway um, but yeah it's really really nice I I really like it um, I it is the first time I've worn it today um, and I only just applied it before filming um, so it hasn't had too much time to break down or anything but it's my nose it doesn't seem to be breaking down on my nose or anything so the only thing is around here in the crease of my nose it seems to be breaking up a little bit but not too much not enough most of my foundations do that like most of them um, so yeah I I would say this was a good 8 out of 10 so for a foundation I really like it um, and to go with that I also bought the concealer so I have the concealer under this eye um, so you can see the bags under my eyes jeez but yeah so I have the concealer under there so I like it I like it um, it is I, I didn't put a lot on um, because if I put too much on then I do look cakey because I do have wrinkles under my eyes I'm 40 come on ladies um, so yeah my shade is C3 so it gives me a little bit of brightening I like it I do like it it's a much I'd say it's a thinner consistency than the conceal and define foundation I find that a lot more thicker um, this the conceal and hydrate I find is a thinner consistency um, and also this uh, foundation comes with a pump whereas the conceal and define foundation comes with a doe for applicator and my daughter's annoyed that the hydrate one is coming with a pump because she likes the doe for applicator so yeah so uh, yeah I got those two but then I was kind of on a drive for buying new uh, concealers because um, if you watched my makeup inventory earlier in January I said I only had three concealers I think um, but two of those concealers were the same product but in two different tubes packaging um, they were both the conceal and define concealer but one was in the super size and one was in the normal size so technically I only have two concealers and one of those concealers was a stick like a crayon like a concealer crayon so I wasn't going to use that to conceal under my eyes anyway I would use it to uh, as an eye base so I kind of went on a drive of buying some new concealers so I got the conceal and hydrate concealer then I also bought this this is the I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers Concealer with coconut extract and vitamin C, E, A, B3 and B5. There's a lot of vitamins in there. Um, but look, it's got a little love heart right at the top there. How cute is that? <laughs> so this was part of their um, like uh, Valentine's Day collection. And when you pull it out, which is a bit difficult, 
but the Dover applicator is also a love heart. <laughs> um, so I got the shade Praline. Uh, this was a little bit harder to guess my shade because I didn't know what praline was but I'm using I had praline on underneath this eye so I don't know I liked them both they're both very um fine so those are the two shades that I have so that's c3 and that's praline so hopefully that might help some people to decide whether this is their shade or not um because most people know the c3 shades or the c shades in the um the revolution conceal and define or conceal and hydrate um foundation so knowing that this one is a slightly darker than c3 might help you out um but yeah so i use this again this is quite a thin consistency um so for my aging skin it was fine um I do feel like this one has slightly more coverage than this side. This side I can still sort of see the bags under my eyes, but you know. Uh, so yeah, this was really nice. I used this one under this eye and I liked it. So that was that one. And then I also picked out uh, con the collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer in Fair. Um there you go uh, now this used to be everyone's favorite concealer back when i first got into makeup but nowadays i hardly hear anyone ever talk about it um i'm not wearing this one today um simply because this is the kind of um concealer that i have uh used before so i know how good it is um and as I say, it was everybody's like go-to concealer a long time ago before these new fandangled ones started coming out. Um, so I wanted to pick this up. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you how much these were and the foundation. So the foundation was £9 and the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer was £7. Um, the Heartbreaker Concealer was uh, £4.23 when I bought it for me personally. And then the Collection Lasting Perfection was £4.18. So yeah, that was that one. So I actually bought three concealers this month and they're all different shades. <laughs> well, this one might be closer to this one. Yeah, them two are the same, but Praline is slightly darker. But um, yeah, so I bought myself three concealers this month because I didn't have any. But it was one of my lowest uh, categories that I have in my makeup collection. Okay, so the next items I bought were for my brows. So the first item I bought was Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara with Filling Fibres and I got the shade Brownie Brows. So it's the dark one. And this one has a real nice little brush like this. I am wearing it in my brows today. Um, I think last time I had the lighter one, um, but this time I went for the dark one because my hair is a lot darker now. Um, so this is a product that I keep thinking about every time I do my brows. I think, really wish I had some of that Essence Make Me Brow. Um, just because um, the brow gels that I've been using recently are all clear. And I just wish sometimes that I had a coloured brow gel that would just give me a little bit more colour in my brows because I have quite sparse brows so I have to fill them in a lot um, and because I either use a pencil or powder sometimes then when I go in with a clear brow gel I'm kind of brushing some of that powder or pencil away and then I end up with patches in my eyebrows whereas I figured if I was using a coloured brow gel then it would add extra colour to my brows. So yeah, this is a product that I've been missing since I used my last one up, but I think I had the lighter one, not the darker one then. Um, 
so I might end up purchasing the lighter one as well and then using this one at the end of my brows and then the lighter one at the front of the brow I don't know um but yeah so this one was um £2.50 from uh, my essence counter in Wilkinson's so yeah and then the other brow product I got was the e.l.f. Um, instant lift brow pencil and I got mine in the shade neutral brown so I have opened it and used it today um, again this is another brow product that I have used before and really enjoyed it and have kind of missed it since uh, using it all up so on one end you have the spoolie with a lid which I really like that it saves it from getting all dusty and then the other side is a twist up, twist down um, sort of pencil and that is the shade of it. So it's a real nice dark sort of brown. Um, so yeah, and that is what I have used on my brows today. So that is that. I can throw the package in the way now. Um, the next item is for my eyes. So I bought one of the Revolution Eye Glistens and this one is in the shade Adored by You. Now I already have two of these um, but these were on sale um, so I picked them up. Um, this one was £4 so I think normally these were £6 and they were down to £4 so I thought go on why don't I. So one side is actually a cream eyeshadow and they're very cold. Like when you first apply them, they're very, very cold. So it's so nice when you first apply them. And then the other side is a glitter. So there is the glitter. like that and I bought this because um the eye glistens that I already own were the red one and the gold one and I really do like them but they're they make pretty bold eye looks and I thought if I go for the pink one if I buy the pink one then I can use it on like a daily sort of look um but these these make a really easy daytime look like an easy look just swipe it onto your lid and you know you've got a beautiful pink eye look and then I bought two eyeshadow palettes I don't need any more eyeshadow palettes but I couldn't resist so the first one I bought was the Heartbreaker um, palette by I Heart Revolution in the shades Lucky so again this was on their three for two on their um, Valentine's Day collection so it is all of these shades here so these are obviously all the greens um they had one for blues one for pinks and purples one for oranges and browns um and i wanted i've been looking for like an all green palette and so when this came along i was like yes and i believe these were five pounds so it is the eye look that i've created today so yeah so that is the the palette that i've used today to create this look so um yeah i really liked playing with these colors the only thing i will say is i wish there was like a lighter brown um in the palette not just the dark brown because i feel like um there's no real transition shade in here um like i had to use like this dark green here in the center in the crease and i just wanted something a little bit lighter there so i i do wish that there was a couple of lighter shades in here yeah we've got this light blue here and we've got this yellow here but i just kind of wish that there was a bit more i don't know i would have taken out the light blue and put like a light brown in there just just my preference but yeah so uh the blue does kind of throw me there a little bit but 
yeah um but this shade here is the color that i have in my crease here and it is just it is stunning it is beautiful i love it so nice little green palette there which created this eye look so that was that one and then the next palette i have uh, this was on special offer uh, so I, it was on a reduced price should i say and that is the revolution rainbow palette i believe that this was one of their palettes for halloween last year uh, so this has um 18 shades in it so this is what it looks like inside and it is absolutely stunning this row here of greens is just beautiful 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 um what i like about this palette is it might look like a bit of a mishmash but actually it's been cleverly laid out in that if you take the three colors in the row this going this way you can make a beautiful eye look with the three shades i think it's been perfectly laid out um and i actually can't wait to play with this palette i have swatched them all but i've not actually played with this palette but i really really can't wait to do that um if you would like to see me do a makeup tutorial with this palette i am planning on doing a kind of a four looks one palette kind of video so if you do want to see that let me know and i will get started on that as soon as possible because i actually can't wait to play with this palette this i'm so excited for this palette i really really am so yeah that's the rainbow palette and as i say i think i bought this for um five pounds and it was originally ten pounds and i got it for five so i'm not sure if they're still in stock on the Superdrug website um they might still be on the revolution website i'm not 100 percent sure um but i will link both Superdrug's website and revolution's website in the description box down below for you to check out anyway just in case um, and then the final item that I bought was the Revolution Hydrate and Fix Radiance Makeup Fixing Spray Long Wear Oil Control with Hyaluronic Acid. So this is the fixing spray to go with the foundation. Um, I did apply this on my face today. Um, I don't know if it's like Radiance. I don't know where it gets its radiance from i know that it's cloudy it's not a clear spray so i'm wondering if it's got like particles in it that help to i don't know um make your skin look more radiant i don't know because i have highlighter on so i don't know if my skin looks radiant because of that or what i don't know but um yeah i mean my foundation looks really nice on my face i don't know if it's this or the foundation or the powder or what i don't know um but yeah it um when i sprayed it it did feel like i was i felt it um it's not it's a real it's really plush look at that for a spray this is so feels very luxe when i opened this up and i saw that i was like wow you look you look luxe you look expensive and <laughs> it's not it's makeup revolution it th i think this was eight pounds sorry it, this was eight pounds the spray on it is not too bad um shake it up first oh it is a bit sort of yeah it does sort of really go for you but um so does my mac fix plus to be honest so generally actually if it does that i just spray it up into the air and then try catching it with my face it's really funny um <laughs> the things we do in makeup uh, so yeah that is it that is all of my makeup purchases uh for uh january and february as well uh so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye